We're continuing our coverage of the big story of the day. Allegations of sexual assault against a downtown Tulsa bar and restaurant owner. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Shay Rossi. Sarah is off tonight. Now we first told you at five, Tulsa police arrested one of the owners of the goat after employees claimed he forced them to perform sex acts, sometimes at work and to do drugs. Fox 23's crime and safety reporter John Acebus is live outside the goat tonight near 3rd and Kenosha. John, what did you find out? Well, the court records and allegations are disturbing. It says Nabil Alame abused some of the women who worked there, including doing it while on work. There's allegations of it happening inside an office, inside the GOAT. There's also allegations that a general manager spoke with detectives and said they either stepped away or stopped working at the GOAT very recently after allegedly seeing pictures of employees naked on Alame's phone. Thursday, Tulsa police arrested Nabil Awame after allegations of sexually assaulting women they say worked for him here at the GOAT in downtown Tulsa. Several of those instances would happen while they were uh, working at the GOAT in Tulsa. I'm speaking with Special Victims Unit Detective Sergeant Ryan Vermeer, who's working the case. As of right now, we have three victims in Tulsa. I've spoken to other women as well who aren't necessarily victims, but um, are witnesses to several of the things that have happened. A probable cause affidavit filed in Tulsa County Court details one of the victim's statements to officers. It says she stated that during her time of employment at the GOAT, Alame committed multiple acts of sexual assault that she did not consent to. She described the acts as spitting alcohol shots directly into her mouth, forcing her to consume alcohol and snorting cocaine, as well as spankings, spitting on her and ripping her shirt at the collar in an effort to expose her breasts. She stated that he did a line of cocaine off her breasts in the office of the GOAT. Other allegations include threatening to fire some employees and threatening to withhold pay. Another alleged assault happened at the GOAT restaurant in Dallas. The record says the defendant brought her into his office alone, grabbed her by the neck, forcefully kissed her, pulled her bra off, and did a line of cocaine off her breast. As a boss, obviously he's in a position of power over these women. Um, he has a lot of control uh, in the things that he can or cannot, um, you know, make these women do. And so I think a lot of the fem women felt that pressure. They all expressed that. Um, they were afraid. Detectives also interviewed someone who says they were the former general manager of the GOAT in Tulsa, saying Alame would show them nudes of some of the employees that had their faces cut off, and that Alame had a file with thousands of other pictures. Records say that general manager quit after the Dallas incident in April. When I went to the GOAT, current employees told me no one was there who could make a comment. According to the probable cause affidavit, Alame had one of the women over at his apartments at the edge in downtown Tulsa perform formed a sexual act on her, filmed it, and then forced her to watch it. I know that several of the women have expressed there's others who are interested in coming forward, but they're still scared. Alame is charged with three counts of first degree rape by instrumentation and other sex charges, including sexual battery. He was arrested Thursday, then charged, and then Friday today posted a $350,000 bond and is now wearing an electric monitor on his uh, ankle. Covering news that matters, John Acebus, Fox 23 News.